you by the grace of God, we would like to share God's goodness in our lives at this Edu Centre. Good morning, my name is Ishani and I will tell you about what has changed about me ever since I came here into the school. I used to be very explosive at first, but now I have calmed down and know how to deal with people. Good morning, my name is Ajit. Since the first day of school, a lot of things changed. I have lots of friends and loving teachers. My teacher, Teacher Jennifer, helps me understand my work and cheers me up when I'm feeling blue. My teacher, Teacher Shemin, encourages me to work harder. When I don't do well in my test, she cheers me up. I thank you God that I come to this school. Thank you. Good morning, church. I'm Catherine, and how coming to TNCC changed my life was that it helped me to open my eyes. Because in my previous school, I felt numb. I had a lot of feelings, but I didn't know how to express them as no one would hear me. So this affected my mood, my studies, my ideas and inspirations, and also sometimes my family. So I felt very lonely and motionless. So I knew I had to like turn this everything around and change it. So when I found TNCC, I took the entry test. And when they told me a few days later when I was accepted to the school, I felt like God has given me the second chance. It's like hearing a voice calling out, Hey, this is your time. This is your path. It's time to shine. I felt like more courageous. And I knew that everything could change. For that, I want to thank Miss Jennifer, TNCC, and the principal, teachers, especially my parents and my friends. Thank you very much. Good morning, church. My name is Danielle Wong. My experience in TNCC at this center has changed my attitude a lot since my first day. My attitude was quite bad back then. I used to not listen to my teachers and my parents, not, finish my, not finishing my homework, and I always got scolding from my teachers. Now I always listen to my teachers and parents, finish my work on time, and I don't get scolding from my teachers anymore. <laughs> I would like to thank my teachers and my parents for helping me change since my first day at TNCC ID Centre. All glory to All God. God. <laughs> Our school is not all about academic. We are challenged to try new things. Critical thinking, creative thinking, music, languages, dance. Next year, we will even have our very first martial arts class. Next, we have my schoolmates from the secondary school presenting you my yeah, ukulele piece. <laughs> Enjoy. Of dreaming in silver and gold, like a scene from a movie that every broken heart knows. We were walking on moonlight, and you pulled me close. Split second, and you disappeared, and then I was all alone.
In the lyrics we sung, we have sung, we have mentioned that there's a line that said, I won't take you for granted. And I just want to shout, us, we, we as students of TNCC Edu Centre, just want to shout out to all the teachers that we will try not to take you for granted next year. <laughs> Thank you. Weren't they great? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to see who are the people behind it? Huh? Can, I, can I ask all the teachers to come forward? Huh? Uh. Uh, I also want to ask uh, Michael, Michael, can you come forward too? Michael has been instrumental in helping to set this school up and helping us managing it. Okay. okay, maybe i just introduce. Huh? Right then is Michael, then we have Charmaine, we have Hawkman, Jennifer. Uh, Jennifer is our principal here. She's the one that gets everything going in, every day in school, okay? Somehow she manages it. This Carol. Carol teaches our special needs class. You know, maybe just two, two sentences. Huh? Uh, what prompted us to want to start this, what prompted me to want to get involved in a school like this was when we visited the, another school and we found that there was a special needs class there. And the Lord uh, spoke very clearly to my heart that we need to start a school like this. Why? Because for these people. And so, and we thought, and I thought that maybe in five years' time when we have 300 people, then we start a special needs class. But right in our second year, the Lord brought Carol to help us to start singing. And next year, we're going to have two special need classes. The Lord is good, isn't it? Amen. <laughs> and Robert and uh, Zilin. Okay. okay, can we all raise our hands to, to them? Let's pray together. Father, we just thank you and praise you and bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the way that you have called up these teachers, Lord, to be teachers of, of young people so that your name and your, your, your glory may be met, met manifest in the lives of these young people. We thank you, Lord, for the dedication and for the lives of these, these people standing in front of us here, these teachers standing in front of us here. We know that you have called them, you have enabled them, you have empowered them, O oh Lord, to be a channel of your blessing and of your goodness, Lord, to children all around. And we believe that these are not just going to be the few, but there will be many more, Lord, that will be you know, coming forth to serve in this and going forth, Lord, to, to share, Lord, the good news among young people. We know that we will not have a lost generation, but we have a great new generation because of what you are going to do through these teachers standing bef before us. We ask, Lord, for your blessings, Lord, to be upon their lives always, that, Lord, you will guard them, you watch over them, and, Lord, in everything they do, you prosper their ways, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord, once again. Continue to be with them and their family. Keep them in good health always. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. <laughs> 